Good evening, everyone. Buenas noches todos. Um, again, I'm here making a short video just to share um, a few verses. Um, feel it in my spirit again uh, to share. Because um, there's a, a, I feel there's a, mis my spirit feels there's a misconception regarding um, jealousy. Uh, when it that is one of God's names, jealous, uh, that he is a jealous God, but there's a misconception regarding um, that verse. Um, before I start, all glory to Abba, Father, in the name of his son, Jesus, I share his holy word. Father, if there's anything that you need anyone to Take to heart, Father, and understand your word as truth. Uh, please let it be uh, spoken through my mouth. All glory to you, Lord God, in the name of your son, Jesus. Um, again, it is a misconception uh, that has been taught throughout the years uh, of what it means uh, in the word of God that he's a jealous God. Uh, misconception. Uh, a view or opinion that is incorrect based on faulty thinking or understanding. Another uh, synonym for uh, misconception is a delusion. It, it's wrong. It's incorrect. Um, I find three different um, descriptions of jealousy. The first one is the bad jealousy, which is envious covetous, grudging, bitter, malice, spiteful, mean, cruel, and unkind. All that we know that cannot be describing Abba Father. 1. Envious. 1 Corinthians thirteen forty-eight. Love does not envy. And if God is love, guess what? That can't be a description of the kind of jealous Abba Father has. Uh, another one, Exodus twenty seventeen, thou shalt not covet. Okay, so that can be a description of Abba Father and the word jealous. Uh, grudgingly. First uh, Corinthians nine seven, do not give grudgingly. Okay, well if that is a uh, do not, that can't be describing Abba Father. Uh, the other one is bitter. Being a jealous person, it's you're bitter. So uh, bitterness in Acts 8.23 states full of bitterness and captive to sin. So if we hold bitterness, we're going to be captive in sin. And guess what? That's against, that's against Abba Father's word. So that can be a description of the word jealous uh, towards Abba Father. Uh, the other one is malice. That that one, that is no description about Abba Father. Because in Colossians, forgive me, uh, three eight it says, "Put away all malice." Okay, those are descriptions of a bad jealous, and I gave you scriptures that's telling us it's wrong. So that cannot be describing. Abba Father's jealous. Uh, the verse that I'm going to be uh, sharing is Exodus 34, verse 14. And it reads, Do not worship any other God, for the Lord, whose name is Jealous, is a jealous God. Okay, Exodus 34, 14. That, that's telling us already, um, do not worship any other God because God is a jealous God. Okay, so I broke it down. I just gave you the explanations on jealous. That's totally not describing Abba Father. Now we have another uh, definition for the word jealous. And that's being suspicious. Well, the definition is feeling or showing suspicious unfaithfulness. Uh, synonyms for that jealous is suspicious, uh, distrustful, mistrustful, 
anxious, uh, overprotective. That's a good one right there. Overprotective because, um, Abba Father protects his children. He will protect anyone that loves him. So that's uh, another description of a, a type of jealous. Now there's an, there's a third one, and it's jealous, fiercely protective, or vigilant of one's rights or possession. So right there, uh, synonyms for that jealousy is protective, defensive, vigilant. Vigilant can be watchful or have a sharp eye. Mindful and attentive. That's the third jealous. That jealous describes Abba Father. Why? Because he's going to protect his children. He's going to be defensive if anyone's going to try to pull uh, his babies, his loves, the apple of his eyes away from his teaching, what he's teaching us. Um, he's vigilant. He's always watching to make sure that we're in the right path. He'll, he'll have, uh, like Psalms 91 says, that his angels watch over us. So they're always watching us. So that's, that's the watchful eye. That's vigilant, a uh, sharp eye that Abba Father has, uh, because he's protecting his children. That's the jealous Abba Father has. It's the one where he's defensive, protective, uh, vigilant, watchful, has a sharp eye. He's mindful of what we're doing, trying to keep us away from any evil, uh, making sure that evil stays away from us. Um, that's the jealous Abba Father has. That's the jealousy. Like a parent. Uh, if, if we're parents or even uh, or grandparents and we see that um, someone that's not walking right or we know that um, they do drugs or, or even someone that's always talking foul language or um, perversions always coming out of their mouth. What's the first thing we're going to do if we're parents? Get away from my child. Or I, baby, don't go there. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I don't want you hanging out with that person. Or, um, you know what? Let me explain to you why that's not uh, a good person to be hanging around with. Because the word of God says, tell me who you um, hang around with. And I'm using uh, just a regular general word. And I'll tell you how you are. That's why it's good to always keep good company. Because, excuse me. Because uh, the word of God says it, it will tell us who how we are. So that that's a good description of, of the word jealous in Exodus 34, 14, because it is one of God's name. It's jealous. Um, again, so now I'm going to uh, go to Exodus 20, verse 3 and 6, because this is another verse or other verses that um, tell us about uh, kept promise. Uh, that's Exodus 20, uh, verse 3 through 6, and it reads, You shall have no other gods, little g, before me. Before whom? Abba, Father. You shall not make... For yourself an idol in the form of anything in heaven above or on earth beneath or in the waters below. You shall not bow down to them or worship them. For I, Abba Father, the Lord your God, am a jealous God. Punishing the children... This is, this is a kept promise. He's a jealous God. If what? And he will punish the children for the sins of the fathers to the third and fourth generation of those who hate him. That is a kept promise that if we, if we make God jealous, 
in worshiping anything or any other gods, he, and we hate him, he's already telling us that he will punish the children for the third or fourth generation. That's a promise. But look at how amazing our Abba Father is. I'm going to continue Exodus 20, uh, 3, through, 3 through 6. Wow, this is, uh, I just, um, when I feel the Holy Spirit telling me that I need to share the word because Abba Father is our God. And there, there are so many misconceptions about Abba Father in the, on, in, in the pulpit, in a church, or anything. And if we don't study, we're never going to know the truth. So this is why I felt it in my spirit to share this part of the scripture uh, of what it says in Exodus 34, 14, that jealous is one of God's name, but not the kind of jealous that the world speaks of uh, towards Abba Father. This one's a different kind of jealous, uh, and it's a good jealous. I, I just read you... Um, Verse five, that he will, he will punish the third and fourth generations to the parents that hate him, but showing love to a thousand generations of those who love him and keep his commandments. What a greater promise to a parent or a grandparent that that will give us that blessed hope that blessed peace that i spoke of in my other video that abba Fah says love me baby L love me my son my daughter love me and i am going to love and bless a thousand generations it doesn't say a thousand generation it says thousand generations if we love him and abide, abide by his word. That's a kept promise. That's a blessing. But uh, again, if we go against God and we hate him, there's another kept promise. And that's that he will punish a third and fourth generation to the to a parent or a father that hates him. That That's hard. Uh, I'd rather hold on to that promised hope, that peace, that if I hold on to what is promised here and, and not make my God jealous, my Abba Father jealous by worshiping or idolizing anything other than worshiping Him through His Son, then I have that, that blessed peace that He will bless and love a thousand of my generations that, that, that will follow me again. Amen to Abba Father that he he compiled his his word so amazingly that if we just study and 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 break it down and put it together it will give us such an amazing amazing explanation and will keep us away from that uh, misconception of what the world has taught us in the past uh, again uh um uh, explanation of exodus 20 again I, I like to bring in the new with the old or the old with the new uh, and it takes me to luke 1 verse 50 and it says his mercy extends to those who fear him so abba father the holy spirit told me break down the word fear find a synonym another word for fear and it, it gave me for um for body and I again I am Hispanic and I hope I am pronouncing that word correctly but it's spelled F O R E B O D I N G and the 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 definition of that word is a feeling that something bad will happen it's a premonition strong feeling that something is about to happen especially unpleasant uh it's an initiative a prediction a prophecy so if luke 1 
50 is saying, His mercy extends to those who fear Him. Well, if I already know that there's uh, many commandments, statutes, precepts, laws that gives us the do not, do not do this or do not do that. Well, that puts fear in me. So that's giving me a foreboding of a feeling that something bad will happen to me or it's a prediction or a prophecy to me that something is going to happen if I fulfill that bad of whatever the word of Abba Father says is bad. Um, so again, Luke 1, 50, His mercy extends to those who fear Him from generation to generation. Abba Father, through His word, because He's a jealous God, but the kind of jealous that, that protects us, a jealous God that, um, let me go back, that defends us, that he's vigilant and always watching what we're doing or not doing. And he'll send his angels right away. Go, go pull my daughter, my son away from those peoples or from that place because they're gonna, they're gonna turn them away from me. And those are my babies. I, I love them. They're the apple of my eye. The apple of my eyes. The apple of, of Abba Father's eyes. Um, Again, that was uh, Luke one fifty. that says His mercy, Abba Father's mercy, extends to those who fear Him from generation to generation. That's a kept promise. Uh, again, Exodus 34, 14. Do not worship any other God for the, the Lord Abba, Abba Father, whose name is Jealous. It, it, he's a jealous God. But the jealous is a good, it's like a parent. He's overprotective. He's defensive. Uh, he's mindful what we're doing. He is a, uh, it's a fierce, protective, or vigilant of one's rights or possession. That's what he's, that's, that's what he's trying to tell us of what jealous is his name. Uh, again, um, I know sometimes I get um, overzealous and, and I want everybody to understand that Abba Father is an amazing father. He, he's a peaceful father. He's a loving father, a gracious, uh, uh, glorious, gracious father that loves his children. If we learn to, to call him out, Abba Father. Again, this is the word that he told me to share with you all. Uh, again, if there's something that you feel that I did not explain correctly, comment. Um, um, ask questions and together we'll, we'll um, study it together. Find the answers through the word of Abba Father. Again, um, all glory to Abba Father in the name of His Son, Jesus. I thank you for listening, for taking the time. Uh, buenas noches a todos. Uh, gracias por uh, poniendo atención a uh, lo que estoy uh, exp uh, a querer a expli explicar de la Biblia. Yo sé que uh, no estoy uh, exp ex um, uh, uh, dando la palabra en español, but again, I know that there's a lot of my viewers that are uh, Hispanic or Spanish and English speaking. So again, uh, just out of the respect of uh, the honor of of my heritage, uh, which it's not overseeing my the glory of my Abba Father. I'm just stating it. Uh, again, I, I thank you uh, and good night, everyone.